Welcome to the Forefront Telecare family. I'm Dr. Andy Rosenzweig, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Forefront. I'm a board-certified and fellowship-trained geriatric psychiatrist, and in my 16 years of work in nursing homes and other long-term care facilities, I've seen firsthand the challenges faced by patients and staff alike. In my recent book, The Harsh Realities of Alzheimer's Care, an insider's view of how people with dementia are treated in institutions, I highlight these challenges, including the lack of training and education for nursing home staff in dementia, mental illness, and behavior problems. To make matters worse, there's a serious scarcity of medical specialists in geriatric care, with fewer and fewer graduates of geriatric medicine and geriatric psychiatry fellowship training programs. There are currently 1,600 geriatric psychiatrists in the U.S. In 2009, only 54 of 120 available first-year fellowship positions were filled, compared with 95 of 110 positions filled in 2000. Having received a master's in public health degree in epidemiology, I realized early on that the trained specialists in geriatric care can't possibly meet the clinical needs faced by skilled nursing facilities. Residents are much more complicated than they've ever been in nursing homes, with extensive medical problems and often comorbid psychiatric illnesses, not to mention the psychosocial stressors like loss of independence, bereavement, isolation from friends and loved ones, and loss of their home and possessions. So these are only some of the reasons why we need to train other providers to do this work, including adult and child psychiatrists, nurse practitioners, and clinical nurse specialists. Nursing homes are quirky places. They have many dedicated and caring staff, most of whom are grateful for the assistance we can provide them in managing and improving the lives of their residents. Nursing homes are highly regulated, both from a federal and state standpoint, and many of those regulations pertain directly to our work as mental health professionals. For example, a 2012 report of the Office of the Inspector General of the Department of Health and Human Services found that in virtually all of the nursing home records reviewed, nursing facility staff failed to meet one or more federal requirements for resident assessments and or care plans for residents taking atypical antipsychotic medications. The report noted that although the nurse involvement in resident assessments was generally evident, records contained little evidence of involvement by a mental health professional. Despite the fact that residents had mental health conditions that needed to be assessed by qualified mental health specialists, no psychiatrists or geriatricians were involved with resident assessments, and only one record contained evidence that a psychologist was involved. Nursing homes must abide by strict rules regarding gradual dose reductions in psychotropic medications. For example, unless clinically contraindicated, there needs to be an attempt at reducing antipsychotic medications in at least two separate quarters of the first year following admission, with at least one month in between attempts and then annually thereafter. Nursing homes typically work with consulting pharmacists to help ensure that these rules are being followed. And we are, of course, an essential part of this process. At Forefront Telecare, our mission is to overcome the logistics of providing psychiatric care to residents of rural nursing facilities by using video technology to make it possible to deliver high quality care from our locations. I've seen for myself that with the right technology, supportive staff at the nursing home, and real-time technical and logistical support by the Forefront team, psychiatric telehealth works extremely well. Residents improve, staff find their job satisfaction better, regulators are more satisfied with quality of care, and families are grateful that their loved ones are receiving this specialized care. Our values include the desire to provide high-quality psychiatric care with an emphasis on teamwork and improved quality of life for both the resident and the staff. 
Our values also include the belief in the importance of non-pharmacologic and behavioral management strategies in patients with dementia-related agitation and aggression. Nursing home culture has been far too medication-focused, and with rates of antipsychotic use skyrocketing, others have taken notice, including the public and Medicare. In 2012, CMS targeted a 15% reduction in nursing home antipsychotic use, and this target will likely increase over the coming years. We as providers must do what we can to foster this notion of how best to manage dementia-related behavioral problems by defining target symptoms, ruling out medical causes, searching for unmet needs, addressing environmental factors, educating staff, recommending behavior management strategies, and avoiding pharmacologic toxicity. This is, of course, a work in progress, as culture change is never easy. I think at Forefront, our practice model is best described as a hybrid between nursing home practice and an office practice. Aspects of an office practice include the scheduling of patients in blocks of time, regularly scheduled follow-up visits, referrals from primary care physicians, and consistency of the patient setting. Aspects of a nursing home practice include the need for knowing the regulatory environment, the CMS initiatives on antipsychotics and gradual dose reductions, and the role of various nursing home staff members, including the administrator, the nurse, the director of nursing, the social worker, the certified nursing assistant, the MDS coordinator, the physical, occupational, and speech therapist, and even the dietary and housekeeping staff. There are unique advantages of seeing nursing home residents through our telehealth solution. For example, the fact that key staff are always present for the visit will help keep you informed about what the key issues are, whether progress is being made, and whether your recommendations are being followed. There are opportunities to have the CNA or even family members come in to spend a few minutes interacting with you during a visit. There is also the reassurance you'll feel knowing that there is a video record of your encounter. There are specific CPT codes designed by CMS specifically for your telehealth work in these settings. To conclude, I want to welcome you once again to the Forefront team and I want to make myself available to you as a resource, both clinically and logistically, as you move forward in the process of what I hope will be a satisfying and rewarding part of your professional life.